Hey everyone, my name is Nona Jones. I am a preacher, I'm a business leader, and I'm an author, and I'm always excited to get to turn my attention to the Word of God with you. And it just so happens that this week we are taking a look at the Word of God and what it has to say about itself, how the Word of God is faithful, how it connects us to our Creator. And the verse that we're going to take a look at today is such a powerful verse. It's not super long, but it's so powerful. It's found in the book of Luke chapter one and verse 37. It simply says, for no word from God will ever fail. Now that's the NIV version. And of course that's powerful in and of itself. But I want you to hear what the King James version says. It says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. That's powerful by itself, but we're also going to look at what the Amplified Translation says. The Amplified Translation says, for with God, nothing is or ever shall be impossible. My goodness. The Word of God is telling us that when God speaks, it's done. It doesn't matter how statistically improbable the thing may be. It doesn't matter how few resources you may have for the big vision that God has spoken into your life. When God speaks a word, it's done. In the context of this verse, uh, the angel of the Lord is talking to Mary and telling her that she's going to have a baby. And of course, she's thinking, how in the world is that going to happen when I'm a virgin? Like I've never even been with a man. So how is that possible? But the angel of the Lord reminds her that the word of the Lord cannot fail because with God, nothing is impossible. I want to encourage you to meditate on this verse today. If you find yourself facing a situation that feels impossible, maybe you're in a marriage where you feel like you've done everything that you can to try to make it work and maybe your spouse isn't hearing you or maybe they've even presented you with divorce papers. Um, maybe you're in a situation where you just got a medical diagnosis and the doctors have said that there's really nothing that they can do or they said that maybe there's one or two things they can do but if those things don't work, then you have a death sentence. Maybe you're in a situation where uh, you're in school and you feel like you just aren't retaining the information. You're really worried because you have an exam coming up and, and you don't think you're going to pass it. Here's what I need you to do. Instead of allowing worry and concern to consume you, place your faith in the truth of God's word. God's word tells us that when he speaks, nothing is or ever shall be impossible because the God that we serve, not only is he omnipotent, all powerful, he's also omniscient, which means he knows everything. And so we can place our full faith in him because he's never caught off guard. He's never caught by surprise. And when he speaks something to you, it's done. You can place your faith in the word of God because it is true and it is faithful. And I'm excited because tomorrow we're going to take a look again at what the Bible has to say about itself as we turn our attention to Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. We'll see you back here tomorrow. God bless you.